Hello family, Najwa here. I am so happy to bring you another video today. If you would please do me a favor, go ahead, click like and subscribe and click the bell so you always know when I post a new video. Guys, I am I am coming I am coming to you with such a heavy heart today. Um and I I hate that we live in a time in a world where I even have to talk about something like this on a video but my heart was shattered just shattered when I saw this news that Dr. Shola received a letter from a white supremacist terrorist group threatening to unalive her her husband and her children this letter is full of slurs. It indicates that these bigots believe somehow that they're rational in thinking that that she deserves to be unalive, that her husband and her innocent children deserve to be unalive, that they are little less than nothing and call her the likes of many derogatory terms and what I find so disgusting so disgusting is that you know in my videos supporting Harry and Meghan the Duke and Duchess of Sussex there's been an entrail of negative comments from people who swear up and down that this is not about race, that they just hate her because of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, Y, Z. I wonder what you all think of this. Do you also think that this is not racist? And do you think that you play no part in this? Because if you, even at the very least, jump onto the hate bandwagon that the corrupt UK tabloid media has incited against Harry and Meghan Markle. And you think that your actions don't have an effect, this letter is proof that it does. So your complicity could take out innocent children could take out a family. And I find it so morally reprehensible because as a Christian myself, I know that the monarchy exists on the tenets and the principles of the Church of England. So we know that morals exist in the United Kingdom. People know very well the difference between right and wrong, and this is wrong. This woman has risked her career to speak up for the underserved, the underprivileged, to highlight the reality, her ancestral reality, and people are unable to accept that. And her exercising her right, yes, her right, as a citizen, as a British citizen, to speak up, to speak her truth, to have a career. You can see that, you can see that as proof when Dr. Shola in the past has defended Harry and Meghan with Piers Morgan and his cronies. She speaks with the same level of intelligence, the same level of confidence, but she is vilified, not them. And you look in comments on YouTube, on Reddit, and you see, oh, I hate this woman. She's ghastly. She's rude. She is um, whatever, whatever. If you all do not see how wrong this is, 
you know, the United Kingdom is really, really digging itself an immensely, immensely scary hole. And the powers that be refuse to do something about it. But you know what? People have power. And that is exactly what Dr. Shula represents. That's why she's giving things like this. And I find it unfortunate that she lives in a country with such polarization and such hate. Perhaps if she was in the United States or in France, this might not happen. Or maybe it would. But I know if she was in the United States or France, people would rally behind her. People would rally behind her. And the wonderful thing about advocacy and democracy is that it does not have to end with violence. It does not have to end with ignorance. It can end with acknowledgement of one's toward past and a focus on what can be done in the future. So, and you know what's funny, recently on Sussex Squad Family TV, it was recently said, don't ever let an abuser silence you. Don't ever let an abuser silence you. Because that is what they're counting on. So Dr. Shola, don't let these abusers silence you. Everything that you have fought for to this moment is important. And it remains important. And I hope, I pray, I'm not going to say I hope, I pray that the British government and the British authorities handle this with the utmost care and prudence. Because to do anything otherwise would just further damage a company, a, a, a company, a country, company pretty much is applicable as well. A country that is so, so far gone. And anyone who is watching this video, if you have any sense of empathy, any sort of heart at all, you will do everything in your power right now to renounce this type of behavior. And I know that you trolls are looking at this video. I know you're listening to this message. You have the power in your hands right now to do something about this. So get on your Facebook, get on your Reddit, get on your YouTube and renounce this ridiculous behavior right now. Because it's wrong. I'm going to read you this rancid letter. I'm not going to show it to you because I, um, I'm afraid that YouTube's human reviewers will see it and it will um, be a violation of their policies. So I'm going to read this to you and I will censor myself. This is your trigger warning. If you feel that you'll be triggered by this hateful, racist, violent letter, I advise you right now to close this video. So the letter is on a letterhead with the National Action London logo. And Dr. Shola has scratched out all of her personal contact information in order to protect her privacy but otherwise she has included the entire letter for us to witness and see it says this is national action london cell we are watching you shola you are a constant troublemaker and liar who appears on television frequently. You make a shabby living from criticizing and race grifting against ethnic white Europeans 
and our culture. We have placed you on our K dot 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 list and intend to unalive you. Your children and your husband. And they put her husband's name in this letter. You have gone too far and it is now time for you to pay the price. You are a filthy, ugly, troublemaking inward. You look like a gorilla and probably smell just like one. What is that thing on your head? It looks like a turd, a big lump of explicit. We are looking forward to seeing your red stuff inside your body spill. You are somebody who should never be allowed to breathe our air and take up space in our country. Again, Dr. Shola is a British citizen. She has as much right to be there as any other person. They continue on to say, you are a dreg of the multicultural society. A filthy, ugly, African, black monkey. And I won't begin to mention the typos in this letter. It is something very much common among the bigoted. I digress and I continue. A lying Yoruba monkey who lives in a nice house with a nice big garden. We are watching you. We have followed you around and it looks like they name her city here. We know your movements. This, another typo, this, this is another typo. This is a serious notice from National Action London. We are notifying you of our intention to unalive you and your family. We do not consider this to be the M word. You are all filthy parasitic monkeys. We have G word and K word, both weapons. Another typo and are watching your house. We will be following you as you walk around your area. You have been allowed into this country and you have no place here. You are a woman who clearly belongs in Africa with your own filthy kind. You have a nice house in, and they name her city once again. We suggest you leave the UK ASAP, another typo. This is the only way you can avoid what is coming to you. You need to hide because your details have been circulated to others on the internet. Violent nationalist activists, black shirts, and others. It is only a matter of time, Adeshola, before you receive your punishment, your execution. So, Trolls, the next time you come into my comments and say, oh yeah, everything about Megan is about race. Oh yeah, pull the race card. Go ahead and read this letter and try for one moment, one moment to imagine if the same thing happened to you or your children or your family. It would not feel so good, would it? But I guarantee you, this will not go easily because if there's one thing that those of us with African descent know, it is persevering through injustice. It is banding together, especially with those who are kind and warm hearted enough from other cultures to lend a helping hand and to persist the hate because love always wins. And we as humans do not have the final say. Now, 
Now, I do not know the creed of the people who wrote this ransom letter, but I cannot imagine how they can follow Jesus Christ. I cannot imagine that. And I'm going to close this video out with reading you all a an excerpt from the Bible. I'm going to read you Matthew chapter 5. This is so, so, so saddening. This is, this is a day to be mourned. And all the hate that Piers Morgan and people like him and the trolls who have jumped on Rudolph, Murdoch, Rudolph Murdoch's hateful bandwagon. The man who's probably going to be slurping carrot soup out of a tube soon. You all are carrying out his will, and at the same time, you are carrying out the downfall of a nation. And when that downfall happens, take a look at yourself and recognize that you were responsible for it. That's what I say. Take a look at yourself and recognize that you were a part of this undoing. Because you were. Because, because complicity, <laughs> it does nothing. And I spoke recently in the video, which is so ironic. Before I even heard about the story, I posted recently about trying to debunk racism. Because I had been getting so many hateful comments in my videos supporting Harry and Meghan. And so I really wanted to figure it out, what, get in the mind of, of racists. What's, what's going on here? And you would not believe the rate at which these negative comments have been flowing through at an exponential rate. And for those of you who do not know what the vocabulary word exponential means, it means gradually increasing more and more. Because that's what abusers do. They try and silence you. And a very long time ago, some of this very well could have been avoided by the powers that be in the United Kingdom and the conservative, far-right, crazy conservatives in the United States. They could have stepped out and renounced hate, racism, violence. But instead, they stayed silent, and that gave way for extremists like this to continue on their path of hate. And who's stopping them? Out of every single article that I've read about this coverage on Dr. Shola, not one has mentioned the authorities. Not one has mentioned what steps the, author the authorities will be taking to take this matter into their own hands. The world sees that. You all are exposing your hatred, your idolatry, your bigotry, your violence, your jealousy, your toxicity to the world. You can do something about that. From the everyday person to the powers that be, you can do something about that. It is not too late. And the world is patiently, consistently urging you to. So I'm going to close this out with a prayer. <sighs> um, straight from the words of the Lord himself. So this is Matthew chapter 5. And um, this is a heavy, heavy day. This is a heavy, heavy day. Uh, I, I really do pray for Dr. Shola's family. I, I pray that Success Squad, we all come together to lift her and her family up in prayer. 
I also want to pray and continue to advocate for Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, um, who we know is likely a part of this puzzle that has driven these hateful people towards them. The amount of constant vitriol media coverage that is hurled their way. Um, I do also want to advocate and pray for <sighs> advocacy groups to support Dr. Shola in the, her time of need. Um, with that being said, I'm going to close this out with a prayer. Words directly from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. From Matthew chapter 5, I'm going to start here at verse 38. Eye for eye, you have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect.